Hey everyone, welcome to a, another Daily Cinephile vlog. I'm just going to really quickly talk about a Netflix movie I watched. This is the first movie of the year that I have seen. Yes, Megan was released in theaters in 2023, but it technically had its premiere in 2022. This movie is a Netflix release, and so it's technically the first 2023 movie I've seen, and it's Dog Gone. It's a movie with Rob Lowe as the father to a child named Fielding. The kid's name is Fielding. Yeah. And he has a dog named Gonker because get this. He is a college senior. He recently broke up with his girlfriend. He's not doing well mentally. So he decides he's going to get a dog. And the dog gonks him in the head as he calls it. He calls it a gonk. So he decides to call the dog Gonker. Isn't that great? I guess this movie is based on a true story. The dog ends up going missing at one point. So basically the entire movie is searching for this dog and how the parents push to look for this dog, even though they're disappointed that the son hasn't really done anything about making something of his life. The son doesn't really have a path at the moment. He doesn't have anywhere to go. I think it's something that a lot of uh, college graduates would actually relate to. Uh, this idea of graduating and then, you know, what's exactly next? What's the, what's the plan? Unfortunately, this character is extremely annoying. He's just so unbelievably uh, dumb. He does a lot of dumb things throughout this entire movie. Every decision he makes, I'm like... I, uh, I I can't believe you're actually a college graduate. I know there's maybe people like this out there. Maybe some uh, viewers would relate to this character. But overall, I just can't believe that uh, this type... I mean, basically, his parents come to see him graduate. They want him to be in the ceremony. And he misses the ceremony from oversleeping. He doesn't have a job lined up. He never gets a job in the movie. He has all these arguments with his parents feeling that they are disappointed in him because he hasn't made anything of himself. This dog is the only thing that he believes actually loves him, uh, which, you know, that would be a compelling enough of a story, I suppose. So it'd be really tragic if he loses the dog. But to me, it just fails because it never really hits on any one of these ideas. He's trying to tell us that, oh, I just feel like no one cares for me except for this dog. But clearly ha he has these friends that really do care for him. It's just that they went and made something of their lives or they all got jobs. It's not really that they abandoned him. You know, one of his friends actually comes back to help him find this dog. The father is never, you know, overly aggressive or mean. You know, it, the relationship is pretty normal. They never really go anywhere with it. Uh, at one point uh, with the mother... You know, she she feels bad for this dog that goes missing because she relates to her own childhood. With one of the more ridiculous transitions I've ever seen, uh, from seeing her as an adult to being a child and losing her own dog, Rob Lowe is in the movie as the dad, and, you know, I... I, I like Rob Lowe fine enough. I think he does fine enough in the movie, but it's the thing, the story's just pretty aimless. I know this is based on a true story, it's based on a book, but it's one of those stories where I'm like, they didn't really need to make this into a movie. I don't think it's really as interesting of a story uh, that, you know, it, it feels like a story you would read in the newspaper. In fact, the Duluth News Tribune is actually mentioned in the movie, which I thought was interesting for all of those Minnesota uh, people out there, as I'm wearing my UMT shirt. Uh, they actually mentioned Duluth at one point. It's really weird. But the story of the dog that goes missing is actually getting national attention, and everybody wants to help out to find this dog, but that's really it. It doesn't really go anywhere, and that's the thing. This whole movie just has little strings that really go nowhere. At one point, the kid ends up getting sick, and they bring him to the hospital, and it becomes a whole ordeal. He gets his, like, intestine taken out, and that comes out of nowhere. That's only happening because he's feeling sick throughout the entire movie, and it gets worse when he's looking for this dog because he has... A ton of he has anxiety about it he isn't eating and he doesn't think much about it and he doesn't tell his parents about it until it's too late it's just a lot of stuff like that and you know like i said i think it's the type of story that they're hoping a lot of people would relate to just from the you know perspective of people who graduate from college and maybe don't have an immediate path forward but it just doesn't go anywhere and in the meantime you have 
this dog and it's a dog movie but most of the time the dog's not there because he goes missing so we actually a majority of the runtime we don't even have the dog so i mean to call it a dog movie i don't know to me i think they got rid of the dog a little too early and on top of it going back to how the character is pretty dumb i mean the reason the dog goes missing is because he just never puts it on a leash this character just keeps doing things throughout the entire movie that frustrate you i get that he's in this position of feeling aimless he doesn't know what his future is actually going to be and maybe he doesn't have it all together yet but it's frustrating to watch it's shocking that there can be a character that is this dumb i would give it two out of five i'm never gonna watch this movie again i'm gonna forget about it but i could see some people enjoying it but overall, it's very generic. It doesn't have much of a story, and Rob Lowe can't save it.